Well, hello. Uh, my name is Draco. Uh, this is my first video. Um, never done anything like this, so thanks for tuning in and listening. If you love Star Wars and you love Sabacc uh, as much as I do, um, then this is the video for you. If you don't know which deck of Sabacc cards that you want to get, uh, but you know you want to get a set, maybe you haven't been to Galaxy's Edge in Star Wars, uh, land at Disneyland or at Hollywood Studios um, and you don't know what those cards are like maybe you've seen the cards from uh, the Galactic Star Cruiser I have those also uh, we're gonna be going into a review on four different ones so the four decks we are going to talk about are going to be the Galaxy's Edge deck this is bought uh, in Black Spire Outpost at the Toy Darien uh, toy store um, so there's these cards. That's deck number one. Deck number two is here. This is also uh, a 62 card deck. We'll get into that in a minute. Sometimes there's 76 cards. Uh, sometimes there's 62 cards. This is a 62 card deck. Uh, this was bought from Black Sun Sabak uh, and Roger Steed. Uh, he's amazing and an amazing deck of cards as I'll go into. Uh, this is a 76 card deck, a traditional deck of Sabak cards. Um, has four different suits, um, and then six, uh, four different suits, 15 cards each, and then 16 cards uh, that are much like that lucky Psylop, uh, except there's more cards that they add negative values. It's a little bit of a different game, uh, but more like a tarot deck, honestly, in a lot of ways, uh, if you're familiar with that, and we'll go into that. Um, and then finally, oh my gosh, this is the card, the Sabak deck. Uh, this is the very first of its kind, the Coruscant Shift uh, from the Halcyon. That's Star Wars, uh, Disney's Galactic Star Cruiser. So really exciting, really exclusive deck right now. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, the first deck we're going to talk about is the one from Galaxy's Edge. Uh, this was my very first deck of Sabacc. For those of you who don't know Sabacc, Sabacc is uh, a card game much like uh, poker, um, that was made for uh, Star Wars. It was invented for Star Wars. In fact, it's the card game, the poker game that uh, Han Solo played when he beat Lando Calrissian uh, to win the Millennium Falcon. Uh, the Millennium Falcon. Um, <laughs> so, uh, it's a really fun game. It's an easy game to play. The original game, the traditional game, was played with 76 cards. And uh, uh, that's the traditional way. Uh, Disney, when they did uh, the Solo uh, movie, uh, and also created this deck for the Tordarian uh, toy store at Black Spire Outpost, uh, dialed down the rules. Number one, they took the gambling aspect out of it. Uh, number two, they simplified. Uh, they went down to 60 cards. Uh, positive, negative cards, 30 of each to get you 60. And then two lucky Psylocke cards. So... I'm not going to go into how to play Sabacc. That's not what this is about. This is about card stock. This is about the quality of the cards, the card box, the dice, um, so that you have a better idea as to which box or which set you might want to buy, whether it's on Etsy or at the parks or uh, if you're spending the premium price to go on the Halcyon. So, the Toy Darien uh, Sabacc game. Uh, bought at Toy Darien Toys. This is for two to eight players, uh, ten, ages 10 and up. This is a really nice box. I have to say, first of all, of all of the boxes, this is the best one. And the reason it's the best one is it's because it's got the inner shield. This protects the cards. A lot of the other decks here uh, do not. In fact, the only two that completely protect the cards on both sides, or all sides, are the two made by Disney. Uh, so this would be the low-end deck. Obviously, this would be the high-end exclusive deck. So we'll open this up. Uh, inside the box, as you can see, it's just hollow. It's very hard. Nice, solid box. Uh, it's got the Toy Darien logo on it, which you will find out is another reason that some people don't necessarily care for these, is these cards are not something you'd be able to use necessarily in a cosplay or a photo uh, situation. Uh, reason being is they do have the Toy Darien logo stamped on the back of every card. Uh, so you have the Sabak logo, but then you have the Toy Darien logo stamped onto the back of every card. Uh, in addition to that, inside the box, this inner sleeve, which I just love these sleeves, you get the two dice uh, that come with this. 
Um, inside this box, I have two metal dice, uh, gold-plated metal dice for a reason. And then you get the instruction booklet. The instruction booklet's nice. I will say keep the instruction booklet inside with the cards because that spring of, that, of the instructions helps hold the cards steady in place. So these are the cards. Um, in a 60 card deck, or what we call Corellian Spike, uh, you have 60 cards. Uh, there's three different suits, squares, triangles, and circles. Uh, there are 30, uh, there are 10 of each of those, ace through 10 or one through 10. And then you have, uh, uh, positive and negative versions of both of those. The goal of the game at the end is for your cards to add up to as close to zero as possible. Whoever gets close to zero as possible, uh, wins, uh, wins the round and you play in three rounds. So let's talk about the quality of the card stock here. The quality of the card stock. Um, they're very stiff. They're thick, uh, but they're very, very stiff. Much like a new deck of tarot cards would be. Uh, very stiff in the deck itself. What does that mean? It means it's very difficult to shuffle. Now I'm a professional magician, a sleight of hand artist, so I'm really using my force to shuffle those cards in. But in terms of bridging them, there's almost no chance for bridging them without bending these cards. That's actually what I'm afraid of, is if I were to bend these cards, it would really leave a solid crease. It wouldn't spring back by any means. So it makes it difficult to shuffle. So you think I can shuffle on an overhand shuffle? Sure, but I will tell you the spreadability of these cards is not necessarily so great either. They do stick a bit together. Um, and that's okay. Some people say for the cost that they are at Galaxy's Edge that they're not the best cards. And I will say you bought them at a toy store. You bought them at a toy store. Not only did you buy them at a toy store, you bought them at a themed toy store. These are bought at the Toydarian toy store. And so think about it. If you go into a regular toy store, you're probably not going to buy the same quality deck as if you went into a Las Vegas casino. Um, so that's the quality here that we're talking about. Now, in terms of size, they're great. They're very similar to the size that you would expect from the movie uh, Solo. Uh, so in terms of my hand, they sit pretty, pretty solidly right through the middle uh, of my hand there. Uh, and I will tell you also the printing on these cards is top notch. The printing on these cards, they're weathered. Uh, they're beautiful. They've got a really terrific uh, quality finish to them. And I'll even get out the Silop here. So that you can see that. That's the Psylocke. That's the lucky card. The zero. The, the Joker card, as it were. The, those cards. Uh, very, very good printing. Very good printing. No numbers, so you do have to count the dots. You have to know that this is an eight. You have to know that this is a four. You have to be able to count those out. Your green ones are positive numbers. Your red ones are negative. And you add those together uh, to see what you would get at the end. Uh, so, really beautifully printed, uh, really nice. The only thing is the cardstock quality is not great. Uh, they stick together, they're rigid, um, and there's no chance you're gonna be loosening these cards up. So, for uh, the average person, the average user who wants to buy it, it's a great price. It's an inexpensive deck at only $15 at Galaxy's Edge. Uh, the box that they come in is fantastic. Now let's talk about the dice going on with the dice? What is going on with the dice? These dice are weak. Everything is printed on. And not only that, they were printed on and then and it sort of glossed over. So they're really hard to see the logos. There's absolutely no indention whatsoever. They're completely smooth. Sure, they kind of look like they're off world in terms of the logos, but already in some places the logos have started to scratch off and wear off, and I just don't think that they're quality dice. That's why, for me, I do carry the gold-plated dice with these. These are standard dotted dice, but actually, for those of you that know Star Wars, you know that they weren't always symboled dice that Han had. The Sabacc was also played with uh, standard dot dice, too, in the very beginning uh, of those. So, I like to carry both of them with me. As far as the dice is concerned, this is the lowest quality dice of any of these sets that I have. Uh, so I add the extra. Uh, the card quality is the lowest card quality stock. The printing is really nice. 
Uh, they're not the lowest quality printing of all four of these. I actually think the printing and the weathering looks really sharp on these. I just wish they had a better feel uh, and a better touch. Uh, so that being said, that's deck uh, number one. Um, so moving on to deck number two. So you get you get one of these and you think to yourself, okay, this is really nice, but I'd like to play a little bit more. Uh, so I'd like a higher quality. That's where these come in. That's where these come in. I got these from Roger Steed. Uh, these are wonderful. He makes several different versions. There's a pit droid version. There's a, a, sol a solo movie, the traditional version. This is known as their Black Sun deck. So let's talk about a couple of things. First of all, the box. Now, I don't know if you can tell here, but the box is actually like a bit of a leatherette. It's really soft to the touch. It feels super nice as you run your hands around it. It's very high quality made. The cards slip and slide out easily, but you'll notice one thing right away, right? There's no way to keep the cards in unless you make sure that they're kept this way. If they're kept this way, it's good. But I, again, I'm a magician. I carry a deck of cards inside a card box and then inside a stainless steel case just to make sure that my cards stay tight. Um, in this, I, can know, I could absolutely not put that in my pocket and trust that those cards wouldn't get destroyed. So that's a really important thing. So this is also your 62 card deck. It does have those same symbols, square, triangle, and circle, as well as your two Psylocke cards. This is a really nice deck. Not quite as hard as the cardboard box here, but it's still very, very nice. Um, and then very well made, very soft to the touch. These are cards that you could use for photos as they're gonna show up and they're gonna look like true movie replicas. So as we go into the cards themselves, this, like I said, this is their orange uh, or black sun deck. The card backs are orange and black. As you can see, they spread amazing. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, this is the finest quality card stock of any of them. Uh, the cards here from, from this Galactic Star Cruiser, they're plastic or more of a plastic feel, so they're really nice. But this is the deck I want to use all the time. These cards are just truly extraordinary. They spread like a dream. They have a heavy weight to them. They're made of a linen finish. So here are your two Psylops. Now you'll, you'll notice right away, uh, these two Psylops, um, they don't look like your traditional Psylops. So that's only one thing to pay attention to. They are the Black Sun logo. Uh, the weathering, the greasy look on these cards is fantastic. The texturing is amazing. Those are your Psylocke cards. And then I'll just lay a few of these out here so that you can get an idea. Again, you have to count the numbers on these. And we'll lay another one down here too, just so you can get an idea. If I were to completely spread these cards out, in fact, you'd see just how kind of greasy, weathered. They really look like they have been passed down through the criminal mind syndicate uh, through some of the dirtiest, dustiest, greasiest hangers and cantinas in Coruscant. Um, they're really, really nice. I feel like these cards are gonna last forever. In terms of shuffling uh, the cards, uh, just, Wow, I'll leave those Psylob cards there. They are still relatively new for me, and so they do, look at that. That's just beautiful, uh, the way they shuffle down. See if I can bridge these. It's a little harder to bridge these just because of the narrowness on the ends, and in fact, these are so slippery uh, at the moment. I'll give you an idea just how slippery these are. If I were to just take these and show you just how slippery these cards are. They really peel across. But I'll go ahead and try to give them a bridge and see, stay, hmm, what we can get. Yeah, they're not gonna bridge because they're just way too slick and slippery at the moment. Um, these are also the same cards that you can get from Cloud All, I believe, and someone comment in the, in, down below, tell me if I'm wrong. Um, I believe that these are uh, 
Also, uh, the cards that come from Cloud On, I believe those come from Australia. I believe Roger Steed, who I just have to say, Roger Steed is one of the kindest, uh, most genuine, most friendly and helpful people I have ever worked with with any process online, any transaction online. Uh, super extraordinary, very, very quick, and answered every question, and not just in a sentence or two, but in a good, solid paragraph. I really appreciate people like that, just to say uh, that. Now, in addition to that, in addition to these incredible cards, uh, there is also the dice. The dice are made of a plastic, uh, but at least with these, they feel about the same weight, honestly, as the Galactic, uh, as the uh, Galaxy's Edge card, but they have a really nice texture to them. You can see those are indented into the dice. Really indented, marked into the dice. Light plastic, but they really match the whole set. Uh, and it looks really great. Um, in terms of durability, shuffle ability, spread ability, uh, dice, these cards are great. Best card stock of any of them. I don't even want to put them down. They're that nice. Um, in addition, by the way, to these cards and the box and the dice, uh, Roger also sent along this packet of goodies to go along with it. Now, uh, he's not sponsoring this by any means. This is just something I paid for. I decided to do this video, but I will show you the things that he's put down. Number one, Black Sun. That's his Etsy store. If you guys want to scan that, I'll put my hand behind that and you can scan that logo. If you guys want to scan that, you can go right there to his page. Black Sun Sabak. Um, he gave uh, a couple of stickers, Black Sun stickers, really nice quality stickers too. These ones you can put up on, they look like flowers, but they're the Black Sun logo uh, in orange. Uh, and then he also uh, gave me some credits. Uh, these are really nice. They're made of plastic, but then I believe, do believe they have a metallic finish on them. Uh, and then there's four different types of, of credits. Uh, to play. Uh, credits in Sabak work much like poker chips. Uh, so it's just a way to keep track of the gambling as you go along through that. Um, so those all came with it. And finally, there's a metal coin, which I love too. It's This is a black metal coin. He's also got them in orange. I'll put my hand behind that and you can see that is the Black Sun logo. Super cool. Um, I really like it. Uh, it's got a good weight and nice. It's like I said, it's metal. Oh. It's light. It's light, so it doesn't have the same weight of the coins that I'm used to. Whew. Magic. Uh, so a little bit of magic for you too. Uh, so really great, uh, Mr. Steed. Super cool. And by the way, if you if you take if you take that dice and you squeeze it, the die will actually jump over to the other hand. And meanwhile, that coin comes right back. So uh, you can take those uh, for what they're worth. So those are the first two. Again, so that's uh, the Black Sun Sabak on Etsy. Amazing uh, quality. I would absolutely buy from him again. I would buy these as gifts for people, for friends that wanted uh, to learn how to play Sabak. All right, so let's get into the next one here. So. This one here. This is your 76 card Sabak deck. This is a traditional, a classic. Now, differing from uh, Corelli and Spike uh, that has 62 cards, Corelli and Spike, the goal is to get as close to zero as possible. With the traditional classic, what you're trying to do is get to as close to the number 23, the positive 23 or negative 23 without going past that number, either negative 24 beyond and positive 24 beyond. The goal is to get uh, as close to that as possible without going over. Um, and what you have are 76 cards uh, made of four different suits. So you have the staves, you have the chalices or the cups, um, you have the chalices or the cups, you have, let's see, uh, the sabers, and then you also have uh, the shields themselves, green, blue, red, and uh, uh, green, blue, red, and yellow. And then you have, here to go along with it, just give you an idea, seven, eight, nine, and 10, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we'll put those together so that you can see how those are. Now these cards are great. They're better quality cardstock, excuse me, than the Galaxy's Edge cards. 
not a ton better, but better. Um, they do shuffle a lot better for sure. Here's your other cards. Here's what separates. Uh, here's what separates those uh, cards too. So in a normal deck, you would just have two Psylops. But in this case, you actually have 16 different cards like this. They each have different names uh, and they have negative numbers. These are all positive and then these are your negative numbers throughout. And so what you're trying to do is utilize these to get as close to positive or negative 23 as possible. Uh, that'd be the, game, uh, the, the goal of the game. Now in terms of shuffling these cards, they do shuffle very nice. They do have a nice durability to them. But honestly, they feel very commercialized. Uh, these cards feel like a Sabak version of an Uno deck. Uh, the cards very printed on there. The colors very, very plain. There's not a lot of weathering in that which it is. More looks marbled, I think, than anything else. If you can see that in there, I'll put my hand behind that. If you can see, it looks a little marbled, but it's not really all that weathered. The cardstock quality is fine. I really like it. I have no problem with it. In terms of spreading the cards, it spreads like a bit of a bicycle quality deck which is fine with me. Um, they do have printing on the back which says Sabak in Arabesh. I don't mind that, although it's not necessary. Um, I don't mind that. Um, but what I do like about this, first of all, if you can read Tarot, which I do, I can actually use these cards in that same way. Uh, there's a lot that I can do with it, plus there are games that I can play that involve four suits that I can't play with any of the others. So there are advantages to having a traditional classic deck, even though when I'm with my friends, more often than not, I'm going to be playing either uh, Corellian Spike or Coruscant Shift, which we'll get to. Uh, now, that being said, the card box itself, it's nice as well. Um, I'll spread these out here too so you can see those different symbols if you want to. The different symbols that go along with them. I'm not going to go into descriptions on every one of them. They all have different names and different negatives. So they range anywhere from like a negative 5 all the way up to a, about a, like a negative 17. Um, so the box itself is nice. It's very lacquered. If you can see how shiny that is, it's a very shiny lacquered box. It's a little bit smaller than the other two decks so far. It's the smallest of them all, actually. Um, I like the symbols. It's very nicely made. But again, personally, I think all Sabak decks need to have that inner sleeve to protect the cards so that the cards don't fall out. I really think that's important. Give you that tap test or the knock test so you can hear that. Uh, the cards themselves... They're, they're, they're great. Uh, for the price, uh, these being the second least expensive, the least expensive being the Galaxy's Edge cards and the rest uh, being more expensive than that, these are the uh, second least expensive. Uh, so if money is an issue but you want a quality deck that has good card stock, I would go with these. Now, they're not 60 cards, but uh, 60 card decks, but you can still play versions of Corellian Spike using a full traditional deck. So I want you to keep that in mind too. So this is a good way to go to save some money. That being said, you'll also need the dice. These dice are fantastic. These dice feel brassed or bronzed. They're heavy weighted dice. They're the second best dice of any of the dice that I have and absolutely the nicest traditional, uh, traditional Sabak dice that I have. Now with Sabak dice, you have six symbols, and really when you're using them, uh, it's about rolling doubles. If you roll doubles, then, then things change in the game. Um, uh, it's a bit of a chance. Plus, you also have your spike, hence Corellian spike. But these are nice. They're very indented. They're very weathered. I love these dice. I will be using these dice for a very long time. Uh, again, these ones come from Hyperspace Props. Uh, also an Etsy store, Hyperspace Props. You can buy the deck without the dice, but for $15 that the dice come with, get the dice. You'll love the dice. The dice make the game. I'll use these dice uh, with my other decks. More than likely, that's going to be my setup uh, for more of the games that I play than anything else is those dice with that deck. 
Um, so that being said, I love the dice. The cards, meh, middle, moderate. The dice, top notch. So we've made it to the end. Thanks for staying so far. It's been 25 minutes into this video, you guys. Wow. And we have made it to the end. This is the Holy Grail. I've been so excited to, for this. I got it off of uh, eBay. I, I, I was able to find someone to sell it to me off of eBay who went on the Galactic Star Cruiser. Um, I personally do not want to pay the premium prices to go on the experience, but I did want this one piece of merchandise. Um, I've asked so many different people that I know got it, including Dano. Uh, so shout out to Dano's channel. Um, that uh, wh how are the cards? What are the card quality like? Because these are twice as expensive as these if you're on the ship. Mind you, you have to pay the premium price to even get on the excursion to be able to go into the lounge to buy this. However, this you just have to be able to go to Galaxy's Edge. These are 15, these are 30. These are amazing and well, and worth a lot more than $30, let me tell you. So first of all, the quality of the box. It's a cardboard box. Same as this, doesn't feel quite as off-world, uh, but it also doesn't feel like a toy store box either. It's a nice quality box. It's very nicely printed. It does have the open window for you to have the two dice. Uh, now, this is specifically Sabak Coruscant Shift. Coruscant Shift was a version of the game with rules that they made for the Galactic Star Cruiser. And uh, uh, it's played more like a five card draw style of poker. It also has a brand new style of dice. So right now, I haven't seen any people on Etsy, any crafters on Etsy that have put out the new dice. However, uh, if you can get this, then you'll get the new dice and you can play. Otherwise, it is still the same 62 card deck as a Corellian Spike deck. It still has the same three symbols, 10 of each, uh, positive and negative versions, plus your two Psylocke cards, the lucky cards, and it comes in this really fancy box. If you open up the inside, it's really nice. It's got some nice logo symbols in there. Again, I'll kind of block my hand if you can see any of those lines in there. Let's start with the cards themselves. You get the cards, you get the instruction booklet that says Chandrilla Starline on it as well. We're talking true exclusivity. And then you get the dice. The dice have a nice piece of foam that they sit in, which protects the dice so nicely. One has, uh, one is silver and it has the symbols, the triangle, the circle, and the square. Uh, the other is gold and it has two zeros, a plus five, a negative five, a plus 10, and a negative 10. And then this is the box that it comes in. So the box itself, very, very nice. It's cardboard. It is a sandwich style box, so one size fits inside the other. Uh, does not have the cool sleeve, but that's okay. It could, uh, it's Disney, but the best way to describe it is I cannot believe that this deck was made by the same company that produced the Galaxy's Edge deck. They're that different. Um, the card size on these is fantastic. They're made kind of of a plastic, or, and I don't know if they are truly plastic like a chem card, but the quality to them certainly feels that way. I'll show you the back of the cards. Just turn that Chandrilla logo upside down. Beautiful, looks like you're going through hyperspace. And on the other side, there's your green. Now I will tell you with these, you don't have to remember the dots. You don't have to count the dots. That's a five and it actually has the number right there. It's a positive five, that's the green. There's your eight. I'll grab a few more here. There's a negative three. An idea of what your 10 might look like, a negative 10. Really shiny silver around the edges. Silver glitter. They're still very slick cards. 
And in fact, I will go ahead and get the Psylops out as well. These Psylops are beautiful. There we go. There's a Psylop for you. There's your Psylops. I passed right by them. So those are your Psylop cards there. They're st st a solid silver. Beautiful, beautiful cards. So nice. These cards, in terms of their spread ability, truly amazing. I wish every deck of cards as a magician that I used uh, spread so nicely. They shuffle like an absolute dream. Again, I just got these within the last week. And so these are very, very slick. And in fact, I'm going to hold these up so that you can see what I mean in terms of, I think they're actually made of plastic. Let's see. Can you see? Does that help show you so really great quality cards uh, really great look to them the reds the blues or excuse me the red the, and, and I say that the reds and the blues honestly the greens until they're hit with direct light they do have a kind of a turquoise blue uh, quality to them but they're just truly stunning cards um, I think, honestly, uh, and I won't tell you how much I paid on eBay. I will tell you I paid more than twice uh, what they cost on the Chandrilla Starline, but I paid less than three times that amount. Uh, so I won't tell you exactly how much I paid, um, but I'll be honest with you. If these were sold at Doc Ondar's at Galaxy's Edge for... Uh, uh, $59.99, I would have gone home with a deck. If I could have felt the quality of the deck and seen them, I would have bought the deck. They're that quality uh, to me, and I will use them forever. The durability is outstanding, I think. Um, and for my games, where I can see, what I can see for myself is most of the games that I'll play with my uh, friends and my, my, uh, uh, my fellow gaming companions will be with this deck, with those dice, and then I will also play maybe the last couple of rounds in the evening will be played uh, with the Shandrilla Starline deck. Um, now, how do the rules differ? I'm not going to go into the rules themselves, but I will tell you the dice are different. So at the beginning of each hand, you roll both dice. And the reason you roll both dice is that determines... Uh, what your goal is. Remember I said in Karelian Spike, your goal is zero, as close to zero as possible. In traditional or classic Sabak, your goal is to get as, uh, uh, your goal is to get as close to uh, uh, 23, positive or negative 23 as possible. Well, when the, each round starts with Coruscant Shift, you don't know. It could be a zero, it could be a plus 10 or minus 10, it could be a plus 5 or a minus 5. So you roll both dice. Also, should you end up with a tie, end up with a tie, a couple of people both uh, standing right at positive 10 or same number, very close to it, whoever has the most number of the symbols that was rolled, so that was a triangle symbol that was rolled, there's your triangle, your circle, your square, and there's two of each and they're opposite one another's. And that's your 10, and of course your minus 10, and your zero, and your five, and your minus five. Uh, these dice are gorgeous. Uh, one's gold, one's silver. They're, in terms of weight, they're almost on par identical with these dice. They're very shiny as opposed to weathered. Uh, so they're very, very clean. One looks like it's been passed through, you know, dark, dark, shabby cantinas and, and hangars. The other one looks like you just came off of a beautiful luxury cruise ship. Um, they're very shiny. I think they look a lot like a class ring. They have that kind of quality to them. Uh, 
So those are the four decks. So let's break it down. If you're not going to play very often and you just want a deck that you can have or you want a good souvenir when you go to Disney or Galaxy's Edge, maybe you, your kids can play with, or maybe you enjoy a game with them once in a while, you just like to look at it and hold the cards, then this is a great deck to go with. This is a great deck to go with. It's a great deck to sit on your shelf. It looks awesome. It's from the Toydarian Toy Store, and it will remind you of your time at Disney's Galaxy's Edge. Uh, that being said, let's say you really get into Sabak, you want to play a little bit more often, uh, you have some friends that you like to play with, and you want to make sure that the quality of the cards that you're using is really good, then absolutely go with uh, the Black Sun deck. Um, the Black Sun deck is awesome, and, and it can be any of their style. I mean, they have a few different styles, or Cloud All. Uh, go through them, and uh, the prices are not bad. Uh, the prices are not bad. This one, you're looking at a $45 deck uh, online. Um, so and, and with everything it comes with, it's well worth it. Uh, so this is going to give you the card stock. These are the cards I look forward to the most to play with. That being said, um, if you uh, really like Sabak and you really want to learn how to play the traditional way in addition to the easier Corellian Spike, uh, then Hyperspace Props does put out a good deck of cards. It does put out some nice cards. They're not the best card stock in terms of uh, others out there, but they're really great. And their dice are truly stunning and amazing. So you can get those dice. You can also get the dice from them independently uh, without buying the deck. So you could buy this deck and then upgrade to get these dice too from them. Uh, so that would work too. Uh, they're really nice. Like $15 for the dice, well worth it. Uh, the deck itself is only $25. So you're getting what you pay for. Um, but you're getting that traditional feel. And finally, if you really love Sabak as much as I do and you want to get as much playing into it as you can um, and you want to have all the out versions out there and you want to have the best on the market, the best on the market, hands down, is going to be the one from Chandrilla Starline. As I put these back, they're beautiful, they're elegant. Uh, right now, they're available only on eBay. Otherwise, they're exclusive specifically to being on Disney's Galactic Star Cruiser, which is what, $4,800 or $5,000 for two people for two nights. And as far as these decks, they're limited uh, to two per cabin. So uh, keep an eye on that too. These cards are really wonderful. Nobody's really put a review out on them yet. So we're 37 minutes into it. Thank you guys for sticking around with me. Remember, this is my first video, so I need to learn that brevity is an art form. Um, and I'll get there. Uh, and I don't know how many other videos I'll do, but thanks for anyone who stuck out this long. These cards are great. These cards are great. These cards are great. Slippery as heck, as I said. Um, and by the way, if you're making decks of cards out there for Sabak, start making a sleeve. Start coming up with the sleeves. Protect the cards. Give us a way to protect the cards. And... Uh, <laughs> And we'll get these all taken care of. If you're still out there actually watching me, thanks for hanging out and watching me. I appreciate you. My name's Draco. I hope you have an amazing day. And remember, the force isn't with you. It is you. So use it wisely. Have a wonderful day.